Help me. Ugh. Good. We got enemies. Just a minute. What, Mom? Don't you what, Mom, me? How about taking a break for once today? You were just there yesterday and the day before that. I know, but it's just that being there makes me feel so calm. Come on, why can't I go? Because I said so. Do I have to remind you about all the crazy things going on since that sorcery globe crashed down on us? Just last night we had a huge earthquake. The animals are all going wild and attacking people. It's too dangerous right now. Besides, there's also a... Ah! Well, wait a minute! Oh, that child! What she sees in the sacred forest is beyond me. Whew, that was close. 
Why does my mom always have to harp on me like that? I better get to the sacred forest quick if I want to make it there.
something about the sacred forest just makes me feel refreshed. I think I'll try going in a little further today. So pretty. I really wish my mother wouldn't worry so much about me. This place couldn't possibly be any safer. Look out! Huh? Good thing I made it in time. Who is this guy? He's dressed all weird. And what was that light? He killed that monster in the blink of an eye. I... um... You alright? Well, that was a close one. By the way, if you don't mind me asking... Hey, wait! scared me. He didn't have to get so close to me like that all of a sudden. But maybe it was rude of me to run away like that. He did tell me to wait, too. Hope he's still around. Oh, good! I was hoping you'd wait for me. I'm sorry I ran away like that. Oh, no, th that's okay. It's just that everything happened so quickly. I was really shocked. <laughs> Scary, huh? Y yes a little. Still, I'm really sorry about all this. You saved me, but I just ran off like that. Nah, don't worry about it. Besides, you did stop to wait, didn't you? Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Reyna. Reyna Lanford. Oh, and, uh, I'm Claude. Uh, Claude C. Kinney. Uh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Kenny. So, Mr. Kenny, was there something you wanted to ask me earlier? Oh, right. It's nothing that important, really, but... Uh, where am I? Are you a traveler? Uh, something like that, yeah. Where are you from? From... from Earth? Earth? Where is that? Well, uh, how can I put it? It's... it's really far away from here. Really. Really far away. Probably. A faraway place? That's really amazing. Yes. Well... Not really. Mr. Kenny, once we cross this bridge, we'll be in Arlia. Arlia? Is that where you live? But... Uh, are you sure it's all right if I just barge in? 
Of course it is. Besides, I need to repay you somehow. No, please, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything that special. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. It won't be much, just the least I can offer you, so please. Here we are! Welcome to Arlia! Wow! It's so pretty! Is it? Well, thank you! Ah, it's such a nice place! I like it a lot! Listen, would you be able to show me around the village? Of course! I don't mind at all! Welcome back, Reyna. Is something wrong? Something big has happened, Mom. This is serious. Oh, really now? Just what could that be? I'm not exaggerating. He's here. The hero has arrived. What? The hero! The one from the legends! You know, the hero of light! He's come to save us! Reyna, are... are you sure about that? 
Yes, he's wearing clothes like I've never seen before, a and he has the Sword of Light. The Sword of Light? Yes, he used this unbelievable light to save me in the Sacred Forest. It had to be the Sword of Light. So where is he right now? He's outside right now, so I'm gonna... Wait a minute, Reyna. Um, excuse me. Ah, uh, is something wrong, Mr. Kenny? Ah, uh, um, it's been a while since you left me, so I was just wondering what's up. Oh, my apologies. Would you wait outside for me just a little bit longer? Uh, sure. Do you mind if I walk around a little? Oh, please do. Go ahead. He surprised me. Was that him, Rena? Yeah. Are you sure we should leave him out there by himself? I... I think he'll be okay, but... Rena, tell him to come inside. That'll probably be better. Yes, let's do that. Okay, I'll go get him. You actually believed me, Mom. Of course I did, Reyna. You're my daughter. Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Kenny. Oh, Reyna, are you done? Mom, I'm back! Hello. Reyna, I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? Mom, what's all this food here for? Doesn't it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? I just thought I'd thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? Is it? He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Actually, I am, yeah. See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much as you like, all right? Uh, thanks. Oh, Mom. Oh, thank you so much for the meal, but I just can't eat anymore.
Are you okay? You didn't have to force it all down, you know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got a cast iron stomach. I'm sorry my mother made so much. It was all delicious, though. My mother would never be able to do something like that. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you're happy. I'm gonna go downstairs and help my mother clean up. Feel free to rest up here for a bit, all right? Sure, that sounds good. How is he, Reyna? Stuffed. He said he couldn't eat anymore, so I had him rest upstairs for a bit. Is that right? In that case, now would be a good time to tell the mayor. It's dark out, so be careful, Reyna. Okay, I'll go get him. Mayor! What's all the racket for, Reyna? Sir, come to my house quick! There's no time to waste! Now, just what is going on here, young lady? The hero! He's finally appeared! W what It's true! He has the Sword of Light and everything! The Sword of Light? His clothes are foreign-looking, too. There's no doubt about it. He's the hero from the legend! My goodness. Tell me, Reyna, where did you find him? In the Sacred Forest. He saved me from a monster using the Sword of Light. And right now, he's resting in my house. I'm telling you the truth. What's more, he said he's on a journey, but didn't have any idea where he was. He claims to be from somewhere, but I've never even heard of the place. Don't you think this is more than a coincidence? Indeed. It is something worth looking into. Reyna, I know as well as anybody that you are not the kind of girl to make up stories either. Thank you, Mayor. So let's get to the bottom of this. First things first, let's see what he has to say. Great! Reyna, oh, no, 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 no. What's wrong, Mom? Why are you panicking like that? I... Uh, no, it, it's just that I've... Calm down, Mom. Tell me what's wrong. I said it. Said what? I said the H word. What? You told him that? So what did he say? I don't think he understood what I meant. Please be calm, everyone. It's all right. He doesn't understand what this is all about either. Oh, Mr. Kenny. This must be Claude C. Kenny then, yes? Allow me to say, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Regis, and I humbly serve this village as its mayor. Good to meet you, sir. Allow me to thank you profusely for saving our dear Reyna's life in the sacred forest. Oh, not at all, sir. Speaking of which, Reyna has told me that you are, at present, in the midst of a journey. Oh, well, it's hardly worth calling a journey, really. So tell me, where is your destination? The Kingdom of Cross, or perhaps the continent of Lacour? Well, I, uh... A curious traveler indeed. Not only do you not know where you are, but where you are going is also yet unknown. What are you trying to say, sir? Mr. Kenny, 
If you will forgive my rudeness for a moment, I do believe everything you have told us has been a lie. You are far from an ordinary traveler. If I'm not a traveler, then what am I? A visitor from another world. A hero of legend, hidden under the guise of a traveler. In fact, even you will agree that you are the hero of light who has come to fulfill his duty as our savior. Am I wrong? What? I... Uh, listen, what would possibly make you think that I, uh... If it's proof you need, then let me share with you a glimpse of our world. It has been told in our history that when the people of Expel are suffering under the threat of impending doom, a hero will appear in garbs of foreign make, and with his sword of light, he will save us all. Your clothes are nothing like what we have. And you carry the Sword of Light. What more proof do we need? What are you... I don't have any Sword of Light. Of course you do! You used a blinding light to save me earlier. That? Maybe he really isn't the one. He's got to be. Hmm... I think I know why you're all confused. This weapon of mine, it's not a sword of light, although I'll admit that it's something like one, but still, carrying this around doesn't make me any kind of special hero. There's got to be some kind of mistake. How can you say that? Well, I mean, I'm not a hero. I don't have any kind of power like that. I don't even have any idea what's going on here. How can you expect me to save anyone at all? You truly have no idea? You really don't know anything about the Sorcery Globe or the Cataclysms? We're not talking about something that happens in the village here. We're talking about the Cataclysms that have affected the entire world. It seems that you do not really know what we are talking about. Please allow me to explain. It all began three months ago. On another continent, northwest of this village, there is a kingdom by the name of El. One fateful day, a meteor crashed upon Aluria, a town located within El's territory. At first, people saw it as merely a rare and remarkable celestial event. But before long, a cataclysm took place. Great hordes of monsters suddenly appeared in the once peaceful nation, and the havoc they spread devastated the kingdom of El. There has never been anything like this before in our world, not until the arrival of that meteor. It only stands to reason that the two events are related to each other. The meteor came to be called the Sorcery Globe, a stone of pure demonic evil. No matter how you look at it, that stone must be the reason for the disasters that have befallen the world. And now, just as the sorcery globe fell upon our heads one day, so you have also appeared out of thin air. If that stone is the source of the chaos, then we believe that only you can cut through the chaos and save us. But I'm just a... The cataclysms are still ongoing as we speak. Strings of earthquakes like nothing recorded before. Docile animals turning into fearsome monsters. It will not be long before disaster befalls this humble village, too. But I... I'm not anyone special like your story said. How am I supposed to deal with some kind of magic meteorite? If you are not, then where did you come from? And where are you going? That's... 
I don't know how to explain it, and even if I did, you wouldn't understand it. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm here because of an accident, and not because I wanted to be here. I just want to go back to where I came from. That's all. You must have your reasons, but you must let us know more before we can make sense of this. I know, but that's all I can tell you. Very well. If you insist on it, then I am sure there is at least some truth to it. We will have to accept that you are not the Hero of Light after all. How can this be? I'm sorry. This is probably not what you all wanted to hear. Not at all. It is our own fault forcing you to be someone you are not in the first place. I'm sorry about this. Those clothes and that sort of light. <laughs> <laughs> 